Welcome to Israel and welcome to the third RAF conference here. What do you anticipate to gain from this, this conference? Well, I think that the uh, most important is that we are networking uh, within the pipeline, the stakeholders. We are obviously the producers and a lot of manufacturing and trading is taking place here. So they are really our business partners, clients within the, 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 the pipeline. And a lot of our goods will end up here in, in Israel. So Israel, you would say, is an important destination for Namibia, export destination? Absolutely. Not, 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 not only are Namibian goods ending up here right. in the trade in, in Israel, Israeli investors are also coming to Namibia, setting up shop, you know, building uh, manufacturing facilities and those sorts of things. Yeah. What are your government policies to attract investors, foreign investors? Well, the, the number one magnet to Namibia, obviously, is rough supply. Right. And also we have a good legislative framework. What is your estimated production for this next year? About 2 million carats. Right. Obviously you know that Namibian average value per carat is higher than anywhere else in the world. Mm. 300 to 400 US dollars a carat. Let's just talk a second about marine mining. Um, it's becoming a major channel of mining right now. Uh, are there plans to expand it? Uh, and is it more financially viable than ordinary mining? Well, the fact of the matter is, is that offshore diamond mining is more um, capital intensive than uh, onshore mining, which is more uh, labor intensive. But you might be aware that most of our resources onshore have depleted as years have gone by, so the costs are becoming higher, the costs per carat are becoming higher. Uh, obviously, we know now that we have a lot of diamond resources offshore. But it's a technological challenge. How much is being mined through marine mining right now? Slightly more than half of all the production is coming from onshore. So we're talking about 500,000 carats to 550, maybe uh, pushing it to 600,000 carats. You will see significant increases offshore as you will see d diminishing production from uh, on land. Well, who are the biggest players right now in Namibia? The biggest player uh, when it comes to mining would be uh, DBS, of course. Right. But we are in a joint venture together, 50-50 joint venture with DBS in Namdeb. Yeah. And also offshore, we are going to be in a, in a joint venture together. In fact, we are aligning all our activities so that we all share 50-50 in all those uh, activities. So is there room for newcomers? Obviously, there is always room for newcomers. There's a lot of exploration taking place in the northeastern part of the country, looking for uh, kimberlite. Mm. But don't forget, also, we've gone significantly into downstream beneficiation. So there are more, newer, bigger players coming into the downstream element. As the country's diamond commissioner, what do you see, hope to see the next steps for the country to achieve? Well, what I'm looking at right now, yeah. once we succeed with diamond beneficiation, we want to go into diamond uh, jewelry manufacturing and into branding of Namibian diamonds, yes. So the sky is the limit.